Hi, it's me Roland. Welcome to another tutorial from Bilingual Analytics. After last week's video, I have received a couple of questions about page navigation. Specifically, how to create a drop-down navigation list for all report pages. Before we jump into that, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. Clicking on the bell icon also helps a lot. So in the previous video, we covered how to use page navigation as an action in Power BI to create that web-like experience. I'll add the link to the end of this video and also down to the description below. This time, we are going to create a drop-down list view. It could be useful when you have more than just a few report pages and you do not want your report page to look crowded with heaps of buttons. Just like in the previous video, let's have a look at the end result. Here we are again on our welcome page. We have a drop down slicer in the middle and the button below it. We can select a page, let's say basketball. And after the selection, we can click on the button to go to the selected report page. I have implemented this page navigation on all report pages. So from the basketball page, we can navigate to any other report pages where we want to go. Let's head over to Power BI and see how to set up this navigation experience. First of all, we have to have a table in our model with all the report pages or the pages that we want our users to see. I also like to have a sort order so I can control the order within the slicer. It's just something that I have typed in for this tutorial. Once we have this table, we can create a regular slicer and add the report page field. This is going to allow our report users to select the page that they want to go to, but we cannot link an action to a slicer. One more thing, for the slicer, just make sure that under selection controls, we have single select enabled. As a next step, we need to add the button to perform the action, or as I like to call it, a go to button. But how does our button know which page to go to? The trick here is to create a measure based on the selected value from our slicer. Once we have that measure, under the action piece for our button, we can click on the FX or formula button. Here, we just need to select our measure as a basis for the formula, and that's it. This is the magic behind a very professional looking drop down page navigator. The last bit here is to copy paste these two elements to every report page. We can also sync slicers to make our lives easier across all report pages. To do that, we click on the slicer, go up to view, sync slicers. And as you can see, I have already synchronized my slicers on every single report page. While I was recording this part of the video, I realized that I can further enhance this navigation experience. With one little trick, we can add the cherry on top. Let's select our go to button, head over to fill under the formatting options, and turn on or enable fill. We can change the default state to full transparency as we already have a white background color. Let's switch over to on hover state and select a grayish color with roughly 50% transparency. With that small design change, our users will be able to see that this is actually a clickable button. Just like what we see on web pages. Now let's have a look at the final, final results.
As I mentioned before, this is a great alternative to the button navigation that I showed in the other video. I would still encourage you to check out that video as well, as it provides another solution to the same problem. On top of that, if you would like to explore a little bit more on how to set up a matrix where you can manage which user can access which report page, check out Gilbert's blog post from Formu about that topic. I found that a great and easy to implement solution. Just keep in mind that if you have lots of users accessing the report with lots of pages, it can be a nightmare to maintain that access matrix. What are your thoughts about this page navigation? Do you plan to add something like this to your next report? Let me know down in the comment section below, along with any other questions that you have about this. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!